Oh dear YouTubers, uh, as you know, Japan's Japan's earthquake, nuclear radiation, and you know the all these signs that the world are world is ending. All these fishes dying, all these animals dying, and stuff like that. And you know there's gonna be like act, the vo volcanoes that were inactive before are now active in Japan because of the earthquake. And it's it's essential to know how to survive these critical moments in life, where where it is predicted that the world is gonna be in in more and more serious chaos all over the world. All over the world it is predicted to to get worse and worse and worse as the time goes. And Japan's is not the first one, it's, it's not gonna be the biggest one. There are gonna be super huge calamities coming in and where will be so much fear in the world and that the pride will be humbled in this case. And I'll tell you how to survive these tactics because these things are prepared and preserved for the people who are who are Christians. Um, these things are already predicted in the Bible, and now it's coming to pass. But then Jesus says in the Bible that the time is not going to be yet. Many people think, "Oh, now it's the end of the world. Finally, now it's the end of the world." But Jesus says something a little bit different. He says. But do not fear, for these things must come come first. And then there are going to be later things like Antichrist rising, and people, Christians, are going to be persecuted for being Christians. Watch, just watch, you atheist people, watch. We're going to be persecuted because of the Antichrist rising. And then you'll see these things, and then you'll remember my words. And then you'll, you'll, you'll know that, oh, Gino Mark, is, what he said is correct, and what it says in the Bible is correct. You'll see these come past. So the only way to survive is, first, you need to be baptized by the Holy Spirit by asking. Luke, uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 13 says, even the evil people like you know how to give gifts to your children. How much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit unto those who ask? So you need to ask the Holy Spirit and Jesus' Father for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Once you receive this baptism of the Holy Spirit, now you have the power of the Holy Spirit to survive. And if you read Mark chapter 16, verse 17, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Okay, read carefully. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, if anything like radiation poison, you know, if they breathe those in, they will not get cancer, they will not die, because the Holy Spirit is the one who protects us. And Holy Spirit, as we pray in tongues, as we speak in new tongues, we'll be calling out angels, and angels will cover us from all these radiation and protection. And if we, even if we drink the poison, it will be turned into water when we drink it. Unknowingly, of course, or even with knowing, Holy Spirit will protect those whom He loves, and He will not take people before their time. In Hebrews chapter 9, it says that our time is uh, set. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed for men to die once. It is appointed. The time of your death is appointed. But after this, there is judgment. And don't fear the things that are going around in the world. Because once you receive the Holy Spirit, you don't fear anything. Like I received the Holy Spirit three, four years ago now, and I haven't had any fear. I did not had any worries. It's just like your mind is protected by God. And you have this boldness because once you prayed enough, once you're filled with the Holy Spirit after being prayed up for hours and hours, you get the supernatural boldness that God gives unto you. And with this boldness, you're no, you're not worried. And you, and like it's like it's like me. I, I almost expected these things to happen. So when it happened, it wasn't really a shock to me. I just knew it was gonna happen. And nothing bothers your thoughts. Nothing makes you worry. And don't give up right now like oh the world is ending i should sell everything or or try to gather as much as money and buy some food or something don't worry if you're if you're protected by god born again in the holy spirit and you, you've been being praying up every day 
giving up all your idols, you will not suffer these things. So concentrate on getting the Holy Spirit filled in your heart every day rather than concentrating how to survive these things. Because once you receive the Holy Spirit and you have this boldness with no anxiety, no, no depression, no worries in your life, then you're set to go. And all the riches and glory will be added onto you as you seek Jesus Christ more and doing the will of God, what He wants to do, what He purposed in your life to do. Because everybody has a purpose in their life that God designed you to have. And if you follow those things, if you hear the voice of God and follow those things, you will not worry about these things at all. And whatever, you know, job loss, economic bad downfall, all these things are going to come. But you will not lack anything. You'll be like a tree planted by the waters. That is a promise of Jesus Christ, who, who meditate in God's word daily, and who meditate in the voice of God, and who listens to him and who prays, who's filled with the oil of the Holy Spirit. The only way to be filled with the Holy Spirit is through prayer and fasting and reading the Word of God. That's, that's, that's the only way. Meeting Jesus in your time. That's the only way to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So do these three things. If you didn't receive the Holy Spirit gift of tongues or the other gifts, then you should ask in prayer and fasting. Fasting is a must. You should fast because it strengthens your spirit also. And the times when it's hard, you'll be bold to stand up and you will, you'll be, you'll have no worries. I have no worries. Do you have worries in your heart? If you do have worries and depression in your heart, then that means you lack the Holy Spirit. You, need, you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's not by might, it's not by knowledge, it's not by scientific knowledge that you have that will make you survive in these last days. How much people will, will, will survive by these scientific knowledge? Did Jap Japanese people survive with their knowledge? No. When the water comes along and sweeps everything, there's nothing that can save you. There's no knowledge that can save you. There's no tools that can save you. You're, you'll be swept away. Just like any of those Japanese people or any of those people who suffered earthquakes, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to run. There's no survival tactics or anything. Only the Holy Spirit can let you, make you live. How? He'll let you know before time when these things are coming on your way. He'll let you know. He's, he'll, he'll strongly um, talk, to your Holy, talk to your spirit and you, you'll know where to go. You, you'll, you'll get out in time. Everything will be fine. But without the Holy Spirit, without this gift, you will not be able to escape. And then you'll end up meeting your maker earlier than your time. So, so Christians, please pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the gift of tongues, praying in tongues. And if you've received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, pray so that you get filled with the Holy Spirit because out of 10 virgins, five, those 10 people who are waiting for Jesus, only five were entered in. So it means 50%, or I don't know, less or more. So make sure that you get filled you get your oil lamps filled with the Holy Spirit so that your fire burns. There is no fear in fire. If you have the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in your heart, there is nothing that you fear. There is nothing that can touch you. But when your oil lamp is getting low and the light is very dim and it's about to get turned off you know, because of lack of prayer, then darkness comes along and make you worry and make you, make you be swept away, by, swept away by the disasters that it brings. So make sure you let your lamp light keep them burning, burning, burning. And don't get low on the Holy Spirit. Because your light, when it dims, dims down, then devil attacks you too. Demons and devils are real. They attack you at your weakest moment. And then when the sun rises, everything is good. But when the sun goes down, all these things will come to you. All these demons come to you at night. Because that's when they mostly operate at night. Because they're, they're with the darkness. Demons are with the darkness. And with light, there is God. But when calamities come, nothing, nothing can stand in the way of the people who are filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why I'm advising you, get the Holy Spirit. Even if you don't believe, just ask the Holy Spirit. I want to get to know you if, if this guy says it's real. I want to know if you're real or not. Please reveal unto me with a truthful and sincere heart. 
and when he does reveal himself to you, you must obey him and throw away your idols if you want to survive in this last days. Because after, even if you survive in this earth, then comes a judgment, which is much more scarier than all these events because there's no turning back after that. Once you die, once you're swept away by the calamities, you're either going to heaven or in hell. And I've seen hell. It's just burning fire. Just burning fire. And there's nothing really to look at but pain and sickness and lying and, and cursing and just dying. Continual death of, by fire. And you don't die. And you just live. Jesus says in, the, in those last days, even death will flee from you. It's, it's in Revelation. Even death will flee from you in the last days so that people will be like zombies. Pe people will be like zombies in those days because they will get hurt and they won't die for some reason. They'll be bleeding everywhere. They'll be sick. They'll be like riding with the flesh, riding with these diseases and pestilence, but they won't die. So they'll be walking around like zombies in that day. And you guys already predicted with the demons already planting in your heads with with these zombie movies and stuff, they're already being, being predicted by demons. They know what it's going to be like because they know they read the Bible too. And they fear in Jesus' name. But you, you'll be like that and it'll be so miserable. It'll, it'll be just just what, you, what you've been sowing and reaping in our lives. So please, repent of all your sins and receive the Holy Spirit with prayer and fasting. Ask specifically for all the gifts that you can ask. Everything. Every single gift that you need. Ask for it. And you will receive. So God bless you in Jesus' name. And the end is not yet. It's, 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 it's getting there. It's very close. But it's not yet. A lot, of, lot, lot more worse things. Crazy more worse things have to happen. And when you see these things, remember it's like a warning sign that you should and the time is time is very limited so get yourselves ready for the outpouring of the holy spirit is also promised in the end times in the end times the outpouring of the holy spirit will be filled that's why i'm talking you to get baptized by the holy spirit because in the bible it says in the end times the holy i will pour out my spirit on all flesh and this is the, that's the time when you have to have the Holy Spirit to survive these calamities, these persecutions, and the Antichrist, you know, and everything else. If you want to survive, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and all these miracles signs will follow you. It can follow right now, too, if you choose to seek God right now with all your heart, all your strength, all your body and mind. If you pay, pay attention to God, you will experience these things right now in this life and the life to come for years to come. They, everybody thinks it's 2012. No, it's not yet. It's not yet. A lot of disasters will come, but then you think it's the end? It's not the end yet. It'll be so horrible that no comparison to what's going to happen in 2011, 2012. A lot more things has to come. And the Holy Spirit shall be poured out upon all flesh. And then those people who are prepared will be prepared. Those who are not, who are not, not going to be prepared. So, God bless you all and let the Holy Spirit and power of the Holy Spirit be upon you all in Jesus' name. And cast those demons out in Jesus' name too. In the name of Jesus, I bind all the demonic, demonic spirits by the power of the Holy Spirit. Get your hands off of the people of Jesus. I command in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God.